My name is Andrew Wong. I have been teaching for the economic department at the University of Alberta for the last 15 years. I teach introductory and intermediate macroeconomic classes for the department. I usually teach these courses in a traditional format where the students come in for a lecture and then they go home for the homework. But last summer, when the Faculty of Art asked me to introduce a different format to teach, I immediately loved that uh, idea, mainly because the traditional way, um, I do not have a lot of student engagement, I do not have a lot of good attendance, uh, where usually throughout the middle of a course, you will find half the students are not showing up there at all. So when the faculty approached me with this method, I decided to say, okay, that would be a good idea. And the new format involved having uh, the student go home and watch the videos, and then they come to the class once a week to basically engage in learning activities. These videos were taken back in the fall term when I teaching a face-to-face -face class. Uh, so the students are getting exactly the same video, or same lecture as a face-to-face -face class. And the student will need to spend about an hour and a half to two hours every week watching those videos that has been put online. For the Department of Economics, we have a lot of students who has uh, English as a second language. And having the ability to rewind, stop, slow down the video clip means that they can actually able to get more out of the lecture than previously. It also allowed, it free up other time for me to do in class where I can give them more engaging activities. Because a lot of time, class time, the lecture time is too short, not just to deliver the material, but also work on problems that tie with the content. My conventional classes has 75 students. So if everybody show up, the room is pretty crowded. This format actually allowed uh, half of my class going on Tuesday, the other half going to Thursday, where the class size greatly reduced. And smaller classes mean the students are more engaged in speaking out, in asking questions, as well as in working in a group environment. Uh, this new format actually is better because instead of, allow, instead of asking students to keep quiet, in fact, it is encouraged students to talk to each other. Uh, it is a way that they communicate with each other so that they can bounce ideas off each other. And when they were working on a worksheet, that collaboration is exactly what they should be getting uh, in, in, uh, in getting the, the, uh, the work done. So far, all the um, responses I got are quite positive. Uh, they like the start of the class. Um, again, instead of sitting there quietly listening to what I'm talking about, they can actually speak among themselves, which is kind of rare for a class. And secondly, they also allow them to work in groups. Um, some students have trouble forming study group on their own, but the fact that they're able to come to the class and form a small group with other students means that they can take the study beyond just a regular classroom. And I think that will be beneficial for them to learn the material well. I'm teaching two classes this term. One is a traditional face-to-face -face class, and the other one is delivered in this new format. Um, they were given the same material. Uh, the first exam for both classes are covering exactly the same content as in the text, as well as in the lecture, and yet, when the mark comes back uh, for the first exam, the class in the alternative format actually score higher than my face-to-face -face class. Now, keep in mind that both of these classes given the same amount of time for the exam, and they were testing the same material, and the format of the exams are identical. And this really is an encouraging sign for me because I think the student engagement does show up on those exam score. And I think the success of this alternative method uh, obviously rest with the faculty of arts who provide very good support in terms of equipment and all the time invested into this uh, taking videos of my lectures and I think without the support from the U of A this new alternative method will be quite difficult to carry out. I think 21st century education has changed. Without technology a lot of alternative delivery method may not be available that you have to rest with the face-to-face -face. and with Technology, we can now allow students to watch video on demand at their own time instead of coming to lecture at a specific time in a day. And I think that greatly enhanced their learning experience. Instead of coming to class once or twice every week, this will allow them to actually learn on their own time. And I think that also gives them a really good lesson in, uh, in life education because obviously uh, if they're able to learn at their own time, then lifelong learning can become a reality.